everyone, it's Patty. So today I wanted to share with you a few fun date night ideas on a budget. I figured with Valentine's coming up, some people don't necessarily want to spend tons of money right after Christmas. I know a lot of people think, well, Valentine's isn't a big deal. You should just um, celebrate the people you love all year round. And I completely agree with that. But I totally love Valentine's Day. I feel like, yes, you should celebrate the people you love all year round, but that, I just feel like Valentine's is a wonderful reminder, just like our birthdays and Mother's Day and Father's Day and anniversaries. I just feel like holidays are here to remind us to take that time because sometimes the busyness of life you forget and I think it's just fun to take the time to celebrate our loved ones. So I always do something, my husband and I always do something fun for Valentine's Day and then now I do something with the kids too. Normally my husband is working on Valentine's Day so we usually celebrate like another day or whatever but now um, my daughter is starting new love all these fun holidays that I love so I always try to do something fun with the kids also. So let me go ahead and show you some either really, really inexpensive or free date night ideas. I have five to share with you today. I have my notepad, so if you see me look down, that's why. Um, the first one is one that my husband and I used to do, and it may sound kind of cliche, but it is something we did all the time when we were dating because we didn't have a lot of, well, my husband, since we were dating, he would have been the one who had to pay for the dates and he just didn't have a lot of money at the time and I didn't ever want him to feel pressure to like take me somewhere really expensive or anything like that we were both going to school and you know just starting off so um, what we would do is I would pack a picnic lunch and after church we would go to a park and during that time we were reading a book about dating and just things to talk about before getting married and stuff like that but we have some of the best conversations we ever had were during those times and we look back on it and have so many fun memories of when we went to the park and had that picnic lunch and I just feel like that kind of pulls you away from electronics and everything and I usually would pack things like chicken salad, things, foods that you normally have on hand, maybe bake a batch of cookies so you can show that you took time for something too and have some special treat with your picnic. Um, and then one thing I always love is I have a picnic. It's not fancy or anything, but it's practical. It's one of those cooler picnic baskets. And I think that is amazing because if you're going somewhere first and then you want to pack your lunch, everything's cold and nice in a basket. Now I know around Valentine's, I live in South Florida, so the weather is perfect. But I know for a lot of people, it's really, really cold. So one fun thing that you can do, and this kind of intertwines with my second idea, is have an indoor picnic or an indoor date. So um, we love, since we have two little kids, sometimes we have a lot of family around, so we can get babysitters. But sometimes my husband works late hours, and it's not always possible for us to leave the kids or go out on dates because life is just crazy. So if that happens, what we do is we take time aside and just have an indoor date at home. We put the kids down and we do something special. Um, we One day um, I prepared like a whole cheese board spread, I, and I got most of the cheeses from Aldi, and I put some Italian meat, which I got from Aldi too, so it was all super affordable things. And um, I, I'm pretty sure I vlogged about it, so if I did, I'll leave that link down below. And we had such a blast. Like, we ate from the cheese tray, and that my husband really, really enjoyed that. That's, like, one of his favorite things. And we watched a movie, and it was just fun. We talked, we had dessert, and it was really nice and on a budget because a lot of the things I got from Aldi's, which is really affordable, and we were actually able to eat more cheeses later on. So it would have been a lot more expensive going to a restaurant and having like that type of food. So that was really fun. So the second one is have an indoor date, but make it special, make it unique, not just like an everyday thing. Go rent a movie from the Red Box or from Amazon Prime and then make a special dinner. You can cook together 
and just make it special for you too. Even if you have little kids, that's something very easy and very affordable you can do. My third idea is um, a lot of cities have museums that are usually free, donation based, or like a dollar or two. Um, our city, or not our city, but a city near us has like a historical museum that is free. And that was, again, this was one we did when we were dating. Um, and it was so much fun. And um, it was really neat because uh, it was free. So we didn't have to pay. And it was really fun to learn about like our the city that the museum was in and like all the things around us and a lot of places have like nature centers that are free and it's just really fun to go and learn about where you live and it gets you talking with your spouse or your boyfriend or whatever your significant other and um, just talk about those things and it creates conversation and it's something out of the ordinary that you would do but that doesn't have to cost a lot of money the next thing and I have to give credit totally to my husband for this one, is download the Shopkick app. That is an app that you can have on your phone and pretty much what it is, is anytime you walk into a store that is linked to Shopkick. So for example, if you walk into Target, you open up your app and for that day they'll give you a certain amount of points, let's say 75 points. Then on your app it'll build up points and then once you have a certain amount of points banked, you get a gift card. So my husband is the one that did all the work for this one. And he was able to get us a gift card to Cheesecake Factory that he we did not pay for at all. It was all through the Shopkick app. So anytime he would walk into somewhere, he would build up points. Now, my husband is a mail carrier, so he does go into a lot of stores. So it was really nice for him to be able to rack up points but it's something that you don't really have to do much all you have to do is open the app on your phone as you're walking in and it's a way to get a gift card to a restaurant that you can later use for a date the last one might be a little controversial and I do not mean to offend anyone with this date idea um, I just think it's doing a good deed and getting um, a free date out of it which is something my husband does also and it is, he donates blood, and that's something my husband did anyways. He would always go and donate blood, but now the, a lot of the blood banks, get, blood banks give free movie tickets. So, it's something that is really nice for us because I normally cannot donate blood because a lot of times I'm either nursing or pregnant, so there's very few months in between where I've been able to donate blood. But um, my husband does it every, like, the amount they allow. And it's a way to help someone in need, but it's also really nice to get something out of it. He would do it anyways, but it's really, we're very thankful that they do that. And we take advantage of it because it's a way for us to get a free date that we may not be able to go on um, if he, um, if they didn't give us that. So every time he goes to donate blood, they, um give him two free movie tickets, which is awesome and wonderful, and we've had a lot of free dates out of that. So I hope you enjoyed my ideas for some date nights. Maybe this will give you some free or really inexpensive ideas for Valentine's Day coming up or for any time of the year you can really use these. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you would like some more ideas for frugal things or organizing home decor mommy related things, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!